Hello and welcome back or welcome to part two of the four part series on editing your movies with the uh, ArcSoft Showbiz software that ships with the Habog HD PVR2. Um, if you didn't see uh, part one, all we really did was take a little tour of the interface. So if you're not familiar, if this is your first time in the software, I recommend that you go back to part one, get a little bit familiar. And um, if you have seen part one, then you are ready to get working, aren't you? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we need to do is get our um, project organized. So the first thing I recommend doing is go over here to option, create a new project. Then um, come down here, new album, title it whatever uh, you want your project to be, whatever's memorable for you. I'm going to um, title this part two of four. So we've got that. Then um, over here, we can uh, start importing media for um, for this, and the reason why I do it this way, I will get to in just a minute. All right, so now we have all of the media that I'm going to be using for uh, this video in there, and now I'm going to immediately go over and add something to there, and immediately save the project. And I'm going to save the project right here. And I'm going to replace that file. And the reason why I, I want to go ahead and start saving this out is because, uh, as you're going to find out, the software crashes quite a lot. Now, if in, uh, in part one, I know you heard me say that hopefully one day I'll get that email saying that there's an update. Uh, it's because um, the software is really finicky. It's... Uh, very prone to crashing and if um, you watch the HTTP VR2 settings tutorial you'll see that I recommended don't use M2, M2TS file format with this go ahead and go with MP4 there is a little bit of difference but there's not a whole lot of difference in quality and compression with it so just go ahead and use MP4 you're gonna have a lot better results with it and I'm gonna go ahead and say this now because I'm a victim of it myself save often please whatever you do in this program save often I wish there was a shortcut for it it looks like there might be I'm gonna find out hopefully it's no it can't be because save project and save project as is the same thing but let's try little control s not sure if it's saved or not but um we're gonna go ahead and move on so um you see that I went ahead and brought in a uh, this little title thing that I created in Photoshop just to uh bring in a still image because there weren't really a whole lot of still images I wanted to work with in what's going to be our final project so I figured I'd toss that in there just for it um, I also created everything in its own separate folder so it could stay organized otherwise if you use their defaults um, which you very well can you're going to end up with you know five six months down the road road 30 or 40 different files in this audio folder that you're no longer using so um, the only thing I would put into these are things that you know that you're going to be using often like I'll probably use this wave file for a uh, another introduction or another intro music um, down the road so I'll go ahead and put that in there and let's just say that I end up making um some more tutorials which uh, looks like I will be with the ArcSoft software so I'll go ahead and put that in the pictures because I probably will use it again and you might notice that those um weird wacky wild balloons are no longer in here because uh, I I really never going to use them so if you want to um get rid of the stuff that's in there you know go ahead and right click and then go ahead and go to delete and delete it and get it out of your life forever um, other than that that's pretty much it so I'm just going to go ahead back over here and load up part two of four and um well it looks like we've got our album organized and created and everything else I mean I can stretch this out but we're already at uh, about five minutes as is so um let's just go ahead and uh, close that down and I will see y'all in just a few minutes with part three and thanks for watching remember to comment like and subscribe um, 
If you have any questions about anything I've done or if I need to explain something a little bit more, please feel free to ask me. I'll, uh, I always answer my comments and everything else. So uh, thanks for watching.